This is a schematic of the self-filling injection device. It is quite simple and easy to operate. It is important to use a 3cc BD syringe. These are the items you need to assemble the self-filling injection device. First, loosen the guide spring locking nut and then remove the dose control ring from the guide pin. Insert a 3cc BD syringe into the barrel flange lock socket and twist it into place. Reinsert the spring guide and the guide pin and then lock the spring guide in place with the locking nut. Reattach the dose control ring at your desired volume. Then pull the syringe plunger back and lock this in place with the plunger flange lock plate. Next, screw on the dual check valve and attach your desired needle size. You're now ready to attach this to an IV bag with tumescent solution or local anesthetic. We will now demonstrate how the fluid flows in and out of the device using a cup of water. Next, we will demonstrate how to control the dosage volume delivered. We will now demonstrate how to control the dose delivered with each compression. First, loosen the dose control ring. Then adjust the volume to the desired level and tighten the dose control ring. The dose delivered may be adjusted between 0 and 2 cc's with each compression. We often use a dose of 1 cc with each compression. We have developed a device that will hold the self-filling injection syringe on an IV pole. This ring attaches to the IV pole and then this stand is used to attach the self-filling injection device to and it provides a means of protection from the sharp needle so that accidental needle injury is significantly minimized either from the front or from below the device. The device now is attached to IV tubing which delivers tumescent solution with epinephrine or local anesthetic. The dosage control ring may be adjusted to deliver the desired volume with each compression of the handle here the self-filling injection device is placed onto the holding stand which protects the staff from accidental needle injury the stand is affixed to an IV pole which may be moved about the surgery room 
and the IV fluids hang from the IV pole. 